Hi everyone, Dorota Palicka, International Nail Artisan Educator here and this time of the year we are going to paint some poppy flowers. Have a look preview of this beautiful design here. White and red and it looks absolutely stunning. I hope you really enjoy watching this tutorial. If you're new in here, don't forget to subscribe and also existing subscribers. Thank you so much, guys, for being with me here for such a long time. Let's start. This time we are going to paint a poppy flower and uh, for the uh, gel polish I have used 162 color and this is going to go into the index finger it's a really nice red and I thought it will go perfectly with the poppy flowers so cure it and on my mixing palette I'm start preparing the colors which I'm going to need so it's a number 11 which is red and that's the acrylic paint so um, I really love them. They are 350 actually, uh, which is a great value for money and they last ages, like really ages. Uh, I've got some paints which are like a few years in with me. And then the black. So just, uh, actually I've got here the one which I have started using already. So the drop of the black and this one is more at the end, don't want to use the new one. Or maybe I will just open like this. Okay, so I need just a small drop of the black. And then we can start painting those uh, second layer and the poppy flowers. And I have really actually managed to match the color. Uh, it is exactly the same. Um, and also uh, I have seen a dress which is white and a poppy flower, so that was the inspiration of it as well. Uh, I like to get an inspiration from the fashion. Uh, and now I'm also saving some cushions pictures because uh, they've got awesome ideas uh, for the winter time. Uh, so Pinterest is great for it as well. Like, but um, as I say, I'm trying to search more for a a different kind of uh, stuff than nails, so they are kind of more unique. And then let's start painting those poppy flowers. So for this one we are going to use the one stroke level one. The, that's how the one stroke level two brush look and one level one, so you can see the difference guys. Uh, I'm picking up red color and you have to pick up the red color on the most of your brush. The black is so highly pigmented that you've got hardly any of it. Okay, and then mix it. So the proportion has to be mainly uh, black on your brush. And now we are going to start painting those uh, poppy flowers. So with the touches of the brush, I wanted it to be nice and wavy. So that's the first petal. On the top, I'm going to also paint like a small batch. So just upside down. Pick up another scoop, leave this tip to dry. Oh, wrong. So leave this tip to dry and then start painting on this one. So you can see it even if we use just the smallest drop of black, it's showing quite a lot. So remember always mainly red and the black is just a touch of it. Here another petal. So you really want to do the background petals first and then once they dry we can do the next petals. So here a wee gap so leave an empty space and then red touch red so red is on the top and black is on the bottom and we are doing the petals which are on the bottom ok 
Okay, so we have created the first flower, then another one on the side. So try to make the, uh, each of them slightly different. Here I have um, lowered it, so here the same, just lower it and then close it. Because we are painting on the black, you have to be very kind of slow to be able to show those petals. Then the one on the side and one more on the side. I'm going to clean my brush and we are going to give one more layer to this one. still a little bit too wet. I'm just going to touch up this one there. And this one is ready. If you touch wet paint, you are going to smudge the color and the things are not going to look nice. Okay, and this way we have closed this flower. So now we are going to swap for a thin brush. So the D-liner brush. Lots of water into the black, like really lots of water. And we will paint some bottoms um, of the flowers, but at the same time, I want them to be a kind of decoration as well. So you can see it guys, I've got hardly any product on my brush. We can also pigment the middle more. And this way you can see the red standing out. Now it looks more like a poppy flower. Okay, same on this one, so very little product. Then pigment the middles. And now we need a drop of white just to highlight some places. So a drop of white. Again, this one is at the end. Clean my brush, very watery. So 
so lots of water into my brush and hardly any product on there. And we want to add some highlights. I actually don't like it, <laughs> so I'm quickly going to wipe it off. And because we have used uh, paint which didn't dry yet, I can easily wipe it off. That's it. The reason why I didn't like it, I had too much product on my brush. So it didn't let me do a nice and thin line. I was lazy to clean it and that's what happened. It. That's again too much. Give it a wave. And split this one into half. Okay, so this way, when we apply those white, the petals are becoming more visible. And here, another one, so we can clearly see this one is like closing it. Touch up the black line, pick up the dotting tool because we need to do a couple dots and then add gold detail. Once we put those gold detail, it will look absolutely beautiful. Clean it and then the gold detail we have used the uh, uh, gold flakes, the gold leaves flakes, uh, they are great. Uh, so I'm just picking up a small amount of it. Base gel. So drop of the base gel and old brush. Like I like to use old brushes for creating the designs and here I want to add a tiny bit inside tiny bit inside plus couple in those places here then tear this gold leaf ideal the cuticle pusher is actually good for that hey, um, dotting tool <laughs> gosh but a cuticle pusher is good as well like into small pieces and then using the brush start applying them in so I want a tiny bit in there a tiny bit in there and you can guys see it how pretty it is once you put those gold flakes in there
and then give it a flash cure, so a couple seconds cure. That's also quicker, much quicker. You could also uh, tear them apart with your brush as well. And uh, the brush works pretty well, but I don't want to put too much pressure in there just because I've got acrylic paint. So you can see it, you just apply them in and they kind of tear apply as you tear once you apply them in. I think often those kind of small details make a really big difference. Okay, flash cure it. And then we can top coat our designs. So I'm just picking up the top coat and I can show you the final look. So top coat over our red. And the thumb. And once we put the top coat, the colors uh, become more vibrant because the acrylic paints dry matte. So uh, once we put the color, they are shiny. The uh, top coat, they are shiny. Gosh, what I'm talking. <laughs> Changing the words. <clears throat> okay, this one goes in here. I love this combination, black, uh, white, black, gold and red. This one goes in here. And then the thumbnail. I hope guys you have enjoyed watching this poppy flower tutorial. Let me know below down in the comments. I'm sending you lots of glittery hacks and bye for now.